Hi, a very good morning to everyone. In the remarkable task of molding minds, DPIRS is advancing for an extra mile with a smile. This temple of real knowledge is a name with a mission to nurture every child through a holistic quality education to establish a compassionate and a knowledgeable person. As we all stand at the most challenging time marking history of survival, it is time to unfold our horizons and rejoice in the simple pleasures that life has bestowed to us. Here, we joyfully take this opportunity to introduce our little one's imagination connected with science through this virtual exhibition, Ignite Imagination 2021. It is true that a prayer comes from a heart can make change. It expands your faith and takes you closer to God. So let's take this moment to thank the Almighty for all grace he has extended to us and also seek his blessing for the well-being of the coming days. How the sky is bright in the morning, then in the evening, darkest tonight. Flowers sing springtime, bursting to blossom, and in the autumn, fade from sight. Lord of our springtime, Lord of our morning, Lord, do not leave us in this crisis. If we are weak, Lord, you are unchanging. Stay with us during this pandemic. Have a brother knowing our sorrows, sharing our bread, sharing our care. He is our brother dying to save us, traveling home to keep us safe. Now, I invite Master Karunya of Grade 12 to welcome the gathering. Science knows my country because knowledge belongs to humanity and is the torch which illuminates the world. A pleasant morning to the Lord of I deem it my privilege to formally welcome this gathering. Now, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome our guest, Mrs. Sandhya Raniji. Assistant Professor of Maharani's Women's College to this meeting. I would also like to welcome our dear principal, Reverend Father Johnson Jacob C., Dean of Academics, Reverend Father Peter Martin C., and Financial Administrator, Reverend Father Santa Kulin C., to this program. I would also like to formally welcome the participants and the teachers who have worked tirelessly to make this program a reality. Last but not the least, I would also like to welcome the audience have taken the time out of your busy schedule to witness this program. Hope you enjoyed this program. Thank you. Thank you, Karunya. Light, it casts out fear, brings understanding, and help us see we are not alone. Light, it symbolizes knowledge, purity, and is the dispeller of darkness. Let us all rise as we request the dignitaries to come forward and light the lamp and seek God's blessing as we ignite Imagination 2021.
my immense pleasure to introduce the judge of this exhibition, Mrs. Sandhya Rani G. She is an assistant professor of botany in Maharaja Science College for women, Mysore. She has completed master's in science from Mysore University, MPhil from Mangalore University, and also pursuing PhD under Dr. Gopal of Regional Institute of Education, Mysore. International Journal of Botanical Studies and Journal of Medicinal Plants are her two research purpose in international journals. Dear ma'am, we are very happy and proud to have you with us. So Asha, shall we start with our exhibition? Of course, Evangeline, we are starting with the subjunius category. So let's start up with the first four contestants of the day. Dakshita Arun Kumar from grade one, exhibiting parts of plants. Ridit Bartur of grade one, exhibiting traffic lights. Samiksha of grade one, exhibiting solar system. And Sanjeev of grade one, exhibiting types of houses. Good morning everyone. I am going to explain about parts of plants and its role in metabolism. Plants are essential for the planet and all living things. Plants are several parts that play a vital role in growth and development. Plant parts are majorly classified into the root system which lie under the soil and the shoot system appears above the ground. Includes stem, leaves, flowers and fruit. To get better insight, I will take you through various plant structures and its metabolic functions. The root system is the major part that anchors the plant firmly in the soil and absorbs water and minerals from the soil. In some cases, the root system helps in storage of food made by the plants. Stem grows vertically and serves as the backbone of the shoot system. It supports the growth of leaves, fruits and flowers. The region where the leaves arise is called node and the region between the nodes is called internode. Stem are one of the storeroom for plants where prepared food is stored in the form of starch. Stem helps to transport water and minerals from the root and prepare food from leaves to other parts of the plant. As I said earlier, I am going to demonstrate the transport of nutrients in plants. This is how the nutrients are getting transported. Leaves are the most important part of a plant. They contain chlorophyll that helps the plant to prepare their food. Primarily, leaves have two main parts. Photosynthesis. Green leaves prepare food for the plants by using water and carbon dioxide in chlorophyll to convert them into food, which they use for energy and gives oxygen. This process is called photosynthesis. Transpiration. Other than photosynthesis, leaves play an important role in removing excess water from plants through tiny pores called somata, known as transpiration. Flowers. Flowers are the most beautiful and colorful part of your plant. They are the reproductive part of your plant, which helps in vegetation. Fruits. Fruits are the main features of a flowering plant. It collects several micro and macro nutrients and helps living beings in maintaining their health. Thank you. Good morning, man and father and my dear friends. I am Redit Bhartur from grade 1. I, my project is traffic signal with the small city. These cars are following the rules. Red says stop. 
yellow says start. Green says go. This is a small city. This is a police station. This is a fire station. This is a government office and a house. This is a lake. And this is a windmill. This is a small boat. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. I am Samet Ashwin from grade 1. Good morning, my dear teachers and my dear friends. Today, I am going to talk about solar system. This is my big 3D model of solar system. Now, I am going to talk about it. This is the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Now, I am going to talk about it. This is the Sun. It is the burning ball of fire. The first planet is Mercury. It is the closest planet to the sun. It is the ball of fire. The second planet is Venus. It is the hottest and brightest planet in the solar system. The third planet is Earth. We all live on it and it has a moon. The fourth planet is Mars. It is a rocky red planet and has two moons. The fifth planet is Jupiter. It spins faster and has the biggest moon. The, the sixth planet is Saturn. It has rings which are made of dust and ice. The seventh planet is Uranus. It is blue in color and the closest planet. The eighth planet is Neptune. It is the farthest planet from the sun. It has many storms. The sun and eight planets make our solar system. This is, was my explanation about my solar system. Thank you for watching. Happy New Year. Thank you. Bye. Next we have Adesh Chandra of grade 2 exhibiting sense organs. 
Harshvardhan Ramesh of Grade 2 Exhibiting Festivals, Nihal Ranjan of e Grade 2 Exhibiting Internal Body Parts, and Shreyang of Grade 2 Exhibiting Clothing. Teacher, my topic is five sense organs. We have we have five sense organs in our body: ears, eyes, ears, nose, tongue, skin. Eyes to see, ears to hear, nose to smell, tongue to taste, skin to feel. Thank you, teachers. Hi, good day to all. My name is Harshvardhan. I'm studying in class two. My school name is DPRRF. My project is based on festivals in India. Land of festivals and every area. Celebrates many festivals whole and daily throughout the year. It was a lovely time when my cousins, friends, and relatives visited us. Independence Day, Republic Day, and Gandhi Jayanti are the three national festivals. Independence Day is celebrated on 15 August. The Prime Minister of India holds the flag in Red Fort. And address the people. On 15th, 1947, India got freedom from the British rule. It is celebrated on 26 January every year. We celebrated it because Constitution of India came into effect on. 26 January 1950. The Republic of Paradise takes place at Raj Park in New Delhi. The President of India holds the national flag. Gandhi Jayanti is celebrated on 2nd October every year. We celebrate this day to mark the birthday of Mahatma Gandhi, the father of the nation. Religious festivals are celebrated by people of different religions. Some of the important religious of festivals are Dasara, Dasara, Diwali, Christmas, Eid, Holy. Joy by by lighting lighting candles candles dias and oil lamps. Clean their homes and wear new clothes. The children play with crackers. Mom prepares sweet dishes and I love all to eat them. It is celebrated after a month fasting. The month of fasting is called Ramadan. We greet each other saying Eid Mubarak. We eat sweets like Sevian. And keep on this day. Christmas. Christmas is celebrated on 25th December. It marks the birthday of Jesus Christ. We decorate Christmas tree 
with stars, bells, and color glass walls. <coughs> we wear new clothes and visit church. Teacher Day is celebrated on 5th September. It, it marks the birthday of Radha Krishnan. Thank you. My name is Bihar. I am studying in second stage. I am going to explain the lunar ninja organs. We have a number of lunar ninja organs. We can try lunar ninja organs. How we have this number of two functions to keep us healthy and alive. The lunar ninja organs are brain, lungs, heart, liver, stomach, pancreas, colonization, and digestion, and two kidneys. The brain lies in the skull. It is a vessel for all parts of the body and understand it and it is a vessel to heart. The heart lies between two lungs. The heart is very important because it works with blood around our body. The, I don't know, maintaining the blood pressure and allowing the oxygen and nutrient. The two lungs, the, the lungs, the, the lungs lies between the chest. They are protected by the rib gate. The part of the respiratory system, excess of oxygen and and carbon dioxide. Liver. The liver is the largest organ in our body. It lies upper right abdomen. It it stores food. It purifies the blood. Stomach. We eat food. It goes into the Stomach remains there three to four hours. And just to digestion the food, pancreas is the pancreas is lies in the abdomen. It is to digestion the food making large bones. The pancreas is produced by pancreatic juices. Small intestine and large intestine. The small intestine is the long tube. It lies in the lower abdomen. It is surrounded by the large intestine. They are, are protected by the digestion. The digestion the process. Large, large intestine absorbs the extra water carries into the kidney. The two kidneys lies on each side of the spine in the lower part of the body. We purify the blood by removing the waste water from the body. Extra fluid from the body. A group of internal organs going to mirror to form a system. Thank you everybody. I am second standard. My project name is class. Mm. Rainy season, winter season, summer season, this is the cloths. Cloths. Season cloths. Season cloths. Now, I would like to invite our Honorable Principal, Reverend Father Johnson Jacob CM, to address the gathering and motivate our kids. 
very good morning to everyone dear judges dr deepa hebbar sandhya rani dear parents and my dear children exhibitions are very important in education very specially science art and mathematic exhibitions will really help the children to put into practice the knowledge that they have gained in a classroom situation you know that the very meaning of education is nothing but to bring out the innate talents of everyone wherein each individual is able to have a holistic development in their life in order to have a holistic development for every children it is understood that their learning should be able to put into practice in their day to day life the knowledge that they have gained should be practically applied in the day to day situations dprs is always stands for the whole holistic development of every children it provides ample opportunities wherein the knowledge gained in the classroom are applied in the day to day life children always get an opportunity to put into practice whatever they have they have learned in a classroom situation thereby they become persons who are very creative very innovative in their life today the country requires citizens who are able to be very productive in their life the country is looking forward to it is its citizens who are able to contribute for the growth and development of their nation country doesn't require people who are not able to contribute anything very positive to the country the educational changes the policy changes always emphasize on the practical learning and thereby they become positive contributors for the growth of the country wherein they are knowing the changes in educational sector knowing the demands of the educational sector dprs is in forefront to hoist to organize science exhibition or virtual exhibition ignite imagination 2020 21 for its children children are given different topics they were given opportunity to select their topics of interest and do practical learning with the assignment given to them and thereby they are here today having in their hands the practical projects they have prepared for the exhibition i do believe that students are able to be personally involved in this project and thereby they get an experiential learning through this exhibition dear children i wish you all the best i wish all the participants already presented their projects and it to present their projects very good luck and may god bless you thank you thank you father for your valuable words now we are moving on to the juniors category first 
Krishma of Grade 3 exhibiting parts of plants, Ishan Gurraj of Grade 3 exhibiting the earth, Ruhan Naveen of Grade 3 exhibiting solar system, Sinchana Sriram Desai of Grade 3 exhibiting digestive system, and Jenna Alfin Thomas of Grade 4 exhibiting oasis. Hello, my name is Dishma. Today I'm going to explain parts of plants. Plants and trees are the main part of our life. We cannot survive without plants and trees. Now I'm going to explain parts of plants. This is a plant which I'm going to explain about. Leaf. Leaf is called kitchen of the plant. Leaf contain many many parts like side wing, main wing, and tiny holes called stomata, which help the plant to breathe. Leaf take carbon dioxide, sunlight, and water to make oxygen. But bud is produced by photosynthesis by the plant. Then the bud produced to a flower. The flower is beautiful to see and flower get converted to fruits. Fruit is very healthy to eat and fruit gives us energy to work. It has many, it has seeds that grow into new plants. We sow the seed inside the ground and baby plant appear. This is the growth of a new plant. Stem. Stem is also the important part of a plant. It helps the plant to stay still. There are three types of stems. Trunk. Trunk. Tree has trunks. It's hard and strong to cut down. Banana have thick soft stems and those are easy, easy to cut down. Next, ivy plant, money plant and all the climbers and trees have weak stems. They need support to stay still. The root. Root sucks in the water from the earth and transfers it to all the parts of plant or tree. There are two types of roots, taproot and fibrous root. Taproot has a main root that grows deep into the ground and several tiny roots growing from them. Some examples of taproot are radish, carrot and beetroot. Fibrous root. Fibrous root has no main root and several tiny roots growing from the end of a stem. Fibrous root examples are ra onion, rice and wheat. Nowadays, friends, the, the human beings are destroying all the plant trees. So please don't destroy them. They are important for us. Thank you. Hi, I am Ishan Gurraj from the Earth Standard. I am going to talk about the Earth. What is Earth? Earth is our home planet. We live on it. Earth is the third planet in the solar system. Earth is the only planet which currently that supports life because it has water, atmosphere and right temperature. Earth is the only planet which has uh, we human beings, animals and plants. 
Scientists believe that the Earth was formed over 4.5 billion years ago. 29% of Earth's surface is of land and 71% of Earth's surface is of water. And it is called the blue planet and a unique planet. At the atmosphere of the Earth is a mixture of nitrogen, oxygen and other gases commonly known as air. The the Earth rotates up once in 24 hours about its axis. This causes day and night. The Earth revolves around the Sun. This causes once in 365 days. This causes seasons. The shape of the Earth is not perfectly round. It is slightly flattened at the North Pole and the South Pole. The core, crust, and the mantle are the layers of Earth. There are many mountains, valleys, plains on Earth. Earth has one moon which is a natural satellite. Distance between Earth and Moon is 384,400 kilometers. World Earth Day is celebrated on 22nd of April. Thank you. Hi hey everybody, my name is Rohan. I study in third grade. I'm gonna explain about solar system. The sun. The sun is the brightest object. The sun is thousand times bigger than all the planets. The solar system is from million years ago. Next, I'm gonna explain about the planets. Mercury. Mercury is the first planet. It is so small and it's next to the sun. Mercury is very cold and very hot. Next comes Venus. Venus is the very hottest planet to handle. Venus has volcanoes and lavas coming out. Next is Earth. Earth is our home planet. The Earth spins each spin takes one day. To spin around the sun, it takes one year. Next comes Mars. Mars is the red planet. Why it is red? Because it has iron oxide. Next comes Jupiter. Jupiter is the king of all the planets. Jupiter is very big. Next comes Saturn. Saturn is the ring planet. The ring is formed with ice and dust. Next comes Uranus. Uranus is a tumbling planet. It tumbles it tumbles and it has long seasons. It has summer and winter. It takes, the summer and winter takes 42 earth years. Next comes Neptune. Neptune is the last planet. Neptune is cold, it has storms that it has storms and Hello, I am Sinchen from 3A and I am going to be talking about the digestive system. What is the digestive system? The digestive system is responsible for breaking down food we eat into smaller components so that nutrients can be easily absorbed by the body and the waste discarded. How many types of digestion are there? There are two types of digestion. One is mechanical digestion and the other is chemical digestion. Mechanical digestion is the breakdown of large pieces of food into smaller pieces by chewing the food. 
Chemical digestion uses substance to break this food down further into smaller components which the body can separate. Now I am going to show you this chart of how our digestive system works. First comes the mouth. When food is chewed, saliva starts digesting carbohydrates. Saliva in our mouth plays an important role in digestion by moistening the food to help with this chewing and swallowing process. Our salivary glands produce about 1.5 litres of saliva each day. Next comes the esophagus. Esophagus is a muscular tube that connects your mouth and stomach. It pushes the food down into your stomach. Next is the stomach. In stomach, everything is blended with digestive juices. Liver. A green liquid called bile, which is stored in your liver, is secreted from fat. Next comes pancreas. In the pancreas, many kinds of digestive proteins are made. Gallbladder. The main function of the gallbladder is to store the bile produced by the liver. Small intestine. Food is mixed with bile in, from your liver and juices with your pancreas to be sent back to your liver for more processing. Large intestine. Indigestible food and water are processed, stored and dispersed. Anus. Solid waste passes the rectum in order to leave the body. Thank you. I, and I hope you understood about the, di the digestive system. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Janad from Thomas from Fort Standard. Here I introduce you an oasis. It's a place in a desert where water comes up to the, from the deep underground. Trees and other plants grow here. Animals come here to drink water, eat plants and find shed. Palm trees, peach trees, figs, etc. grow here. An oasis is a shelter to many people and animals. Thank you. Thank you, dear children. Now let's witness Raj Kishore Pradhan from grade 4 exhibiting photosynthesis, Deepthi of grade 5 exhibiting lines and angles, Himadyudi MH of grade 5 exhibiting organic farming, and Parinita Chandra of grade 5 exhibiting saliva. Good morning everyone. My name is Raj Kishore Pradhan from Fortunana. I am going to explain the process of photosynthesis. The process by which plants make food is called photosynthesis. Photo means light and synthesis means putting together. This uses water from soil and it takes carbon dioxide and gives out, out of oxygen and also helps uses sunlight to make food. Thank you. Good evening everyone, my name is Deepthi from class 5. 
Today I am going to say about states of matter based on the arrangement of particles. Matter is classified into three states: solid, liquid, and gas. Solid. In solid, particles are packed together very tightly, with very little space between them. Therefore, solid are rigid. They have a fixed shape and occupy a fixed vol volume. They cannot flow or be compressed, pressed, and made smaller. However, the shape of some solid can change when a force is applied. Examples of solid are chairs notebook pen utensils paper cotton and cloth liquid in li in liquid particles are packed packed together but not as tight tightly as they are in solids the particles can be can move and slide over one another therefore liquids do not have a fixed shape but have a fi fixed volume they cannot be compressed they flow from one place to another they take the shape of their container example of liquid are water milk honey and oil examples gases in gases the particles are very loosely packed and can move freely to therefore gases do not have a specific space shape and volume they expand to fill all the space in the container with they occupy their particles can even move out of the container if it is not sealed tightly gases can also be compressed and can flow from one place to another air is made up of many gases Hello everyone. My name is Great Data. I am studying fifth B. Today I am going to tell you about my project Nancy angles. I made point and pair of line with this chopstick and touch the angle with this toothpick. Point lines are formed by joining many point lines. No ending points. Ray one ending point. Line segment two ending point. Now pair of lines. Intersecting lines. Parallel lines. Concurrent lines. This two. This is concurrent point. Collinear point, non-collinear point, transversal line. This is transversal line. Corresponding angles. This is corresponding angles. Interior alternate angle. This is interior alternate angle. Exterior alternate angle. This is exterior alternate angle. Co-interior angles. This is co-interior. Now types of angles. Zero angle. Acute angle. Acute angle is less than 90 degree. Right angle. Obtuse angle. Obtuse angle is greater than 90 degree. Straight angle. Straight angle is 180 degree. Reflex angle. Reflex angle is greater than 180 degree. Complete angle. Complete angle is 360 degree. Now pair of angles. Vertically opposite angle. This is vertically opposite angle. Adjusted angle. This two are adjusted angle. Linear pair of angle. This two semicircle is equal to 180 degree. Complementary angle. This two semicircle is equal to 90 degree. Supplementary angle. This two semicircle is equal to 180 degree. Thank you. Organic farms can grow food without using man-made chemicals like pesticides and herbicides, which can harm the environment or wildlife. Thank you. First, we have to do tank like this. Now I will show you how to build it. First, we have to take a brick and keep it like this. Next, we have to take another brick. And keep it like this. It should be joined like this. 
Repeat the same in the other side. It should be like this. First, we will put dung into it. It will be like this. Then we will put dry leaves and mud into it. Put that one. Now we will put water for seven days. After seven days, it will be like this. Now we will put earthworms into it. After that, it will be like this. After that, in the end, it will become like this. Now we will put it to the plant. Now we are putting it to the plants. This is called organic cultivation. Good morning teachers. My topic is saliva. Saliva is a liquid which is produced by in our mouth by salivary glands which is just below our tongue. Saliva contains an enzyme called amylase that helps us to break down the starch to sugar. Let us do an experiment to know more about it. Starch, iodine, two glasses Pour equal quantity of starch to both of the glasses. After pouring the starch solution, add saliva to one of the glass. Then add some iodine to both of the containers. After adding, wait for 30 minutes. After a while, in which saliva was added, turn slighter. Why does this happen? Because Saliva is an extracellular fluid produced by salivary glands in the mouth. Saliva is 98% of water and electrolytes, enzyme and antimicrobial. The saliva added breaks down to starch and converts into small sugar molecules. And once the conversion of the starch to sugar molecules App and the color changes back. Thank you. So here we are to the last four contestants of the day. Milan Gorda of Grade 5 exhibiting Solar System. Michelangelo of Grade 5 exhibiting Robot. Ronald of Grade 4 exhibiting the Earth. And Nandika of Grade 5 exhibiting Environmental Pollution. Good morning everyone, my name is Milan, 5th DPIRS Mysore. Today I am going to show my science project, the solar system. The solar system is the collection of the 8 planets in orbit around the sun. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. Venus is the brightest planet, second. Third, Earth is our home planet. Fourth, Mars is reddish in color. Fifth, Jupiter is the largest planet. Sixth, Saturn is the second largest planet. Seventh, Uranus is the third largest planet. Eighth, Neptune is the farthest planet. So, this is my project. Thank you. Hi everyone. This is Michelangelo from Class 5. I have made a working mini robot. To make this robot, I have used a DC motor, a fan, a battery, a few ice cream sticks. This is how it works.
Hope you enjoyed watching my mini robot. Thank you. Greetings all. My name is Ronov and today I will be talking about the layers of earth. And this is our earth and these are the layers of earth. So let us start. The crust and here crust. Temperature around 22 degrees Celsius. State solid. Composition. Oceanic crust made up of iron, oxygen, silicon, magnesium, and aluminium. Crust is the thinnest layer of the Earth's surface. And then comes the upper mantle. Here, yeah. upper mantle. Temperature around 1400 degrees Celsius to 3000 degrees Celsius. State liquid or solid. Composition iron, oxygen, silicon, magnesium, and aluminium. This layer is up to 670 kilometers below the Earth's surface. And then comes the lower mantle here. Lower mantle. Temperature around 3000 degrees Celsius. State solid. Composition iron, oxygen, silicon, magnesium, and aluminium. The rock is hot enough to melt but is solid because of the pressure pushing down on it. And then comes the outer core and so Outer core. Temperature 4000 degrees Celsius to 6000 degrees Celsius. State liquid. Composition iron, nickel, sulfur, and oxygen. This the outer core flows around the center of the earth and the movement of the metals creates our planet's magnetic field and then comes the inner core. Inner core. Temperature 5000 degrees Celsius to 6000 degrees Celsius. State solid. Composition iron and nickel. The earth's inner core is a huge metal ball made mainly of iron. The temperature of the ball is 5000 degrees Celsius to 6000 degrees Celsius. That's up to 6000 times hotter than our atmosphere and scorching enough to make metal melt. Thank you for joining me on this discussion. Good morning everybody. My name is Sandika. I study in class 5. Today I am going to tell you about environment pollution. This is a fact. It causes air pollution by the, the smoke coming from the factory causes air pollution. This is a link. It is next to it is an extra factory because the pipe leading from the factory is into the lake. The chemical waste of the factory is inside the lake. And many other water bodies are filled with plastic and other wastes. This is the road. The vehicles cause, cause sound pollution. This is an helicopter. It causes sound pollution and land pollution. This is a landfill. It causes land pollution. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you, children. Now I take this opportunity to invite our chief guest, Mrs. Sandhya Rani D, to enlighten us with few words. Good morning, everybody. First and foremost, I'd like to express my heartfelt gratitude to Principal DPIRS Mysore, Father Johnson Jacob CM, for providing me such a great opportunity to be a part of or to be a judge of this coveted event. It's indeed a great honor and privilege to me. I'd like to appreciate the innovative works of all the students. You all are the winners. The manner in which you have presented your work is highly commendable. It is highly professional. I'd like to appreciate the efforts of DPIRS principal and the staff for providing such a great platform for their students. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Now, I would like to invite Ms. Aisri Butt of Grade 10 to give vote of thanks. Showing gratitude is one of the most simplest yet most powerful things humans can do for each other. The event that has been held today has taught us more about the importance of science in our day-to-day -day life. 
It has created a scientific spirit among the students, increasing their thinking and reasoning abilities. It also provided a platform for our budding stars to showcase their talent. Taking this into mind, today I, Aisri Butt of Class 10, deem it to be a great honor to be given the vote of thanks. Dr. Sandhya Rani, your presence has really added more value to this program. It was a pleasure to have you, ma'am. I am immensely grateful to our school principal, Reverend Father Johnson Jacob Siam, Father Peter Martin, the Dean of Academics, and the Financial Administrator, Father Santoy Kurian. All of your efforts to carry forth this program have not gone in vain, and it is the reason for the success of this digital exhibition. This virtual gathering has turned out to be excellent due to the hard work of the organizers, so I heartily thank them. The participants do totally deserve a whole deal of appreciation. On behalf of the entire school, I am truly grateful to all of you. Lastly, I extend my gratitude to the audience who have attended this program. I am sure that we have all learned something very valuable and informative today. In spite of the obstacles and hurdles that we have come across throughout the course of the academic year, by utilizing the technology available and the resources that there are, this event has been able to bring to light the importance of science in our day-to-day -day life. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Aisiri. What we are totally depends on our identity, and our identity depends on our motherland. So to show respect and dignity towards our nation, let's all rise for the national anthem. As we are close to the end of our virtual exhibition, Ignite Imagination 2021. Thank you and have a wonderful day. जनगण मन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल वंगा विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जलधि तरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे